Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow and care for the cypress vine. Like as always, I am going to start the video with starting a seedling and I will be ending the video with lots of blooms. So please make sure to watch the full video. Okay, so what is the best time to grow the cypress vine? Let me tell you that cypress vine is more of a summer flowering plant and they will be blooming well and growing well when the nighttime temperature stays above 20 degrees Celsius. And they will be blooming really very well when the daytime temperature stays in between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. However, if the temperature goes much higher, let's say above 35 degrees Celsius, that time also you would be able to get the blooms, you really don't have to. The thing is they don't like the cold environment and once once the nighttime temperature comes below 20 degrees Celsius they are going to stop blooming and this is the same thing happening with me. I mean I am recording the video in the month of the November and they have almost stopped blooming for me. As you can see these are the seedlings of the cypress vine and obviously I grew them from the seeds myself and it's really very easy. If you want to know how you can grow them from the seeds I would be uploading one video tomorrow or day after tomorrow but if you are watching this current video let's say after 10 or 15 days from the date of uploading there is more chances that the video is already uploaded and you will be able to see that video at the end of this video. I am going to transplant few seedlings in 6 inches of plastic pot and definitely I am also going to grow them in other container too, I mean much bigger container so that I can show you different different result at the end of the video. And you can see that my pot has lots of drainage holes so I just kept some broken pieces of the clay pot on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 50% of normal garden soil, 25% of cocoa peat and rest 25% of vermicompost. Please note that you can use similar kind of potting soil mix for most of the flowering plants including the vegetables except few very very sensitive plants. For example, anthuriums, orchids and most of the succulents for all, all of them we need to prepare different kind of potting soil mix but if you are growing other flowering plants or like vegetables that time you can grow the similar kind of potting soil mix and you would be able to get good result and this is the thing that I do I mean if you have been watching some of my videos you already know that this is the thing that I do for most of my plants. It's time to transplant the seedlings but before transplanting I am just going to pre-wet the soil a bit. Definitely you can do it later but I am just doing it so that I am not going to hurt the seedling. Now I am just making a hole in the center deep enough for the roots of the seedlings. Trying to pull out the seedling and while doing it please be extremely careful and do it as slowly as you can. Now before completing the transplanting procedure, let me tell you one very important thing. See cypress vine comes in many different colors and you would be able to tell that simply looking at the color of the stem. As you can see some stems are looking green and some stems are looking somewhat much deep color. I would say that somewhat like brown color. And both are going to have blooms in two different colors. And that's why if you want multiple colors in a single container, just grow two seedlings where color of the stem is not matching with the another one. And this way you are going to get multiple colors, I mean blooms in multiple colors in the same container. Transplanting is done and next I am going to keep the pot in a bright area for next few days, let's say 3 to 5 days and then I am going to keep the pot on terrace. Just brought them from the terrace to my balcony and from today itself I am going to keep them in my balcony itself. Since they were getting the whole day of sunlight, I mean until today it's important to talk about the sunlight requirements of cypress vine. 
See, they are going to do well and bloom well if you provide them the whole day of sunlight or they would be also going to do well if you provide them partial sunlight. So let's say 3 to 5 hours of direct sunlight would be just perfect and morning sunlight would be much better but still if your if your balcony gets the afternoon sunlight like me that time also you don't have to worry about anything they are going to bloom well. I am just using a hanging pot so that I can hang them in the balcony grill. Just filling bit amount of soil on the bottom of the pot and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I am just adding bit amount of soil so that they get somewhat more space to grow. Next I am adding 50 to 70 grams of vermicompost and this would work as a fertilizer. You can fertilize your cypress vine different way as well and uh, let me give you an example here. See you can apply 6 crystals of DAP once in 20 to 30 days and for a 6 inches of plastic pot you can easily apply 6 DAP crystals. To apply the DAP crystals it's really very easy just keep the crystals on the soil and simply place it inside. You don't have to worry too much like how deep you should uh, keep the DAP crystal inside the soil. Just insert it slightly inside the soil so that whenever you are going to water it, a little bit amount of fertilizers would get dissolved in water and that way the plant would be getting the nutrients for many more coming days. However, when applying the DAP, please make sure that you are not applying it during the middle of the day and avoid keeping the crystals too close to the main stem. While talking about watering requirements, please note that cypress vine is a fast growing vine and that's why it needs lots of water. In my case, I had to water them daily and please keep the soil always moist and don't let it dry out. Here you can see that I am getting all the three different colors, I mean red, pink and white on the same trellis and this is a unique trellis that I did for my cypress vine and if you want to know how you can do that at your home, please let me know and I can show you how you can do that very easily. By the way, I am really very sorry for the dirty background, right now it's on the terrace and that's why it's looking somewhat dirty. One thing that I don't like too much about the cypress vine is that see the bloom doesn't last more than a single day but still they just add lots of colors every single day. One other drawback of cypress vine is that they just produce a lots of seed pods. As you can see this is what this is one seed pod and I just remove them so that the plant focus on producing more blooms instead of producing the seeds. 
Finally, the last important thing. See, you may also want to keep your cypress vine the way I did. I mean, wrapping them on a trellis. But please note that while doing it, just make sure that you are also maintaining a good airflow. If there is not sufficient good airflow, that time you may get different kind of pest attack on your plants. For example, if, if there is not enough good airflow, that time you may get spider mite attacks on your plant. To get rid of the any kind of pest attack, you can use neem oil once in 7 to 10 days. And I do have one video where I have shown the best way to use the neem oil. So please watch that video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner. So guys, this is all about how to grow and care for the cypress vine. And if you found the video useful, please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And many, many thanks for doing that. I have many more other vines to share with you and I am going to do in coming days. Thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video. I truly appreciate it. And if you have any questions or feedback on the video, please write down below and that really helps me. Thank you once again. Have a great day.